what's up everybody it's Bella. welcome back to painting <laughs> i was gonna say a game we're not playing a game we are painting um hopefully i'm trying not to get the painting done um hopefully this lovely painting of mushrooms and a couple stars and a moon and i was a little disappointed to find out that the paper was not black so i'm gonna have to paint it black eventually oh well so where we left off, we had painted numbers one and two, and today we're going to do three and four, if everything goes well, which, honestly, you never know if it will or not. So three is more of a yellowy orange, and the other ones are more corally, more peachy, so this is kind of, oh, Jesus, why are these so difficult? Okay, this one, it doesn't look as thick. The other ones looked very thick. Okay, so we got to find three. So three is the color of the moon. Okay. So that'll be our first place to start. Let's get into it. Oh wait, I gotta do it so you guys can see. Perfect. I'm gonna do my best with this damn moon, but me coloring inside the lines hasn't been going great. If you tuned into the last episode, um, yeah. So let's do our very best. I wanna at least get the moon and the, the clouds in line. We'll see if that happens. Okay, it's not terrible, but it's not perfect either, so. Okay, that's probably as good as I'm going to get it. One thing I don't like by paint by numbers is when you're done, you can still see the numbers rather clearly, but, you know, it's okay. It just proves to people, hey, look at the fun thing I did. Okay, now i got to find more threes. I'm already seeing a lot of them. Hopefully, I'm not going to get, you know, this still, it's not, I mean, it's kind of dry. It, it's, I feel like it's a bit tacky, but so I just got to be very careful. I say, and I'm instantly already like regretting my decision. I'm sorry if you can't see this. You'll see in a second. hope you guys are doing all good and, and everything is going good for you. I've just been a little stressed out, so I need to I feel like I needed to pick up a calm hobby. Because I, I like video games, and a lot of times it is calming for me, but sometimes I just don't want to do it. And I love it, and it's weird. It's a weird thing to love something but not want to do it. It's very strange. And, uh, I don't know, it felt like a chore to play video games at, po at points. And I don't know if that's because... Part of it is because of... You know playing video games online and making it feel like a job even though you know i'm not getting paid for it not a lot of people are actually watching it but it for a while it was something it was an escape it was something i love to do and i still love to do it but it started feeling like a chore and i'm like okay i don't want to get burnt out already and i'm like i haven't even done anything i've barely done anything i'm like i don't want to get burnt out so i'm like you know what i could record i might record tomorrow but like i just don't i don't feel like it and then i got this and i'm like oh maybe i can record this and that'll be something a little different kind of get you know, my head in a new space, and I'm, I'm liking it so far. I do enjoy this. I would love to do videos like this for um, Legos and, like, go step by step and, and talk you guys through the steps as I'm doing them. I feel like that'd be so much fun. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I think I think that'd be really cool. <laughs> okay, I think we got all of the threes. I'm hoping, anyway. Maybe. Okay, I think we're good. And next we have four, which is a very light pink color. And there we go. Close off for three. Let's clean off the brush and continue on to numero 
four. Okay, number four is opening. Okay, there we go, you can see it right there. And let's start from top to bottom so I'm not smashing into the paint. Okay, I don't feel like there's a whole lot of fours. Well, there's some, there's a lot of fives. Just off the bat, I'm just seeing a lot of more fives than anything. Okay, let's get down to business. Fun fact, I won a, uh, I was at a festival one time and they did an auction kind of thing, like a silent auction where you had to like buy a ticket and put it in a bag and then they would draw your name. And my friend drew the name and I got it and I was very excited and I got a paint by numbers painting of a train going over a bridge in, I think it was in the winter because I think there were people skating under the bridge in the water, like where the water would be, I think they were skating. And I, I think my dad still has that painting, I have to ask him. And I'm like, oh my god, this is so cool. And I, I don't know why he has it. I want to see if I can get it. But I think I might have just, he might have taken it when he moved out. I don't know. But I gotta talk to him about that, see if I can have it. And if I can, I will definitely show you guys. Well, that's a big boy. This is probably the thickest one that there is. I could use a big boy brush on it, but I'm not going to. Damn, I like things like this. I like paint by numbers and I like how they're more catered to adults and you can have different paintings. You can get like steamy paint by numbers, I'm pretty sure. But I just kind of wish they weren't so tedious. Like I don't want like a kid's one where it's like four blocks and you have to paint that. But like I just want something a little bit less tedious than this. Because it's not t super tedious but it's just very tiny. If that makes sense. Like I don't mind tedious. I just don't like tiny. Please don't take that sentence out of context. What I think I might do is I have a bunch of microns, a bunch, I have four. Um, I have some microns, which are very, like, kind of like very tiny pens almost. I don't know, I could grab one and show you, but that's too much effort. Um, I think I'm going to want to outline these a little bit because the outline's gray. So, like, when I go over it, which is kind of often, it gets lost and I'm just worried the colors are just going to, like, blend together in a bad way. So I might have to do that. We'll see. Before we go, we're almost done with the fours already. Oh my god, this is gonna be a short, quick little episode compared to the last one. I missed a couple up here, so I'd go from here to here. Um, but I think this is the last number four. I'm still waiting to get to the very end. And I'm like, oh, I missed that one, and that one, and this one, and a couple of those. Um, but that'll be okay. And there we go. These remind me of the trees from Whoville. Like in the, um, is it Horn Here's a Who or um, the Lorax? It's one of those two movies. Okay, very sloppy, but uh, it's okay. There we go. We got through two colors in the span it took me to get one color done the last episode. Okay, nice. So I'm gonna clean off my brush. And next episode we're gonna do five, which I feel like is a lot. There's five and six. Wait, I gotta close. Close for make it official. There we go. Um, I'm gonna do five and six. And five is very similar to four. Um, it's just a little bit lighter in tone, if you can see, a little bit more, I don't know. I don't know what, I was about to say it's slightly bluer, but it's pink, so. Um, and then, and then we have a nice green. I really love this green. Lately I've been obsessed with this green. Maybe a little bit darker, a little more emerald y but yeah, I'll leave it there. Next episode we shall do the other things, but until then, my name is Bella. Hope to see you guys in the next one, and peace.